Hello my dear students, I welcome you all to the Science Nest YouTube channel. Today in the video, I am going to explain you the Northwestern Province First Term Test 2018. Now we will move to the part 1. First question, the group that exists only unicellular microorganisms is Answer number 3, Protozoa and Bacteria. In these groups, only unicellular microorganisms can be seen. Second question, what is the group that the microorganism in the figure belong? Uh, this microorganism is the muca. Muca is a type of fungi. Answer number four. Third one, followings are some applications of microorganisms. A, remove heavy metals from impure water. B, decompose oil spread on oceans. C. Use as biopesticides. Heavy metals means uh, the metals like cadmium, chromium, lead. They are the heavy metals. Uh, they pollute the water. So uh, we use the microorganisms to remove these heavy metals from impure water. It is an application of bioremediation. This question is the instances of applying bioremediation from above are a and B only are correct. Answer number one. Bioremediation means removing environmental pollutants by using the microorganisms. Fourth one, it is needed to control the population of mosquito in order to control dengue. It's a news. The mosquitoes are vectors. Vectors are the organisms who carry the pathogen from one organism to another organism. Pathogen means the disease causing microorganism. Host means the uh, organism who give the substrate to grow to the pathogen. Give the substrate to go grow the pathogen. Sometimes the humans also acting as the host. Fifth one, the rhizobium bacteria is used to fix nitrogen. To fix nitrogen. This rhizobium bacteria lives inside the uh, root nodules of some type of plants. Like this mimosa. Sixth one, the structure in the human ear non-contributory for the audition is the semicircular canals. They contribute for the balance of the body. Question number seven, the statement that represents the correct path of traveling the sound to the auditory nerve is Answer four, tympanic membrane. According to that vibration, ossicles are vibrating. Finally, cochlea is vibrating. Answer number four. Eighth question, the alternative which contain the compounds that compose with only carbon and hydrogen are Answer number 1. Methane and hexane. Methane, the formula is CH4. Methane formula, CH4. Only carbon and hydrogen can be seen. Hexane formula, C6. H14. C6, H14. Ethanol formula, C2. H5, C2, H5, OH, glucose formula, C6, H12, O6, sucrose formula, C12, H20, uh, H22, O11. Now you can see uh, in methane and hexane, only carbon and hydrogen can be seen. Ninth one, select the alternative which includes a heteroatomic molecule and a homoatomic molecule respectively. Heteroatomic means uh, there are same type of atoms, different types of atoms. Homoatomic means there are same type of atoms. We will see in nitrogen the uh, formula is N2, 
this nitrogen molecule means N2. Same type of N atoms are there. H2O mean, uh, water means the H2O. Different types of atoms are there. Hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms. Here the first one is homo, second one is heteroatomic. So this is not the correct answer. They are asking respectively. Heteroatomic and homoatomic respectively. Now we will see the second one, glucose 6C6, H2LO6. It is heteroatomic. Oxygen means O2. It is homoatomic. This is the answer we have to select. Answer number two. Now we will see the tenth one. What is the simplest form of oxygen exist in the nature? Oxygen is existing as the oxygen element. Answer number three. Eleventh one. The atomic number and the mass number of fluorine respectively are nine and nineteen. The number of protons and neutrons of a fluorine atom respectively are. Number of protons equal to the number of uh, the atomic number, so it's nine. Number of neutrons can be taken by subtracting the atomic number from the mass number. So answer ten. So answer number two is the correct answer here. Twelfth one. Uh, there is a large empty space in an atom. There is a nucleus at the center, which is positively charged. The person who was invented above first is Ernest Rutherford. Ernest Rutherford is the answer. Thirteenth one. The correct statement regarding the force is answer number two. Newton balance is used to measure the force. We will see the first one. Force is a scalar quantity. No, it's a vector quantity. Third one. Movement can be observed each and every instance of applying a force. No. In some instances, by applying a force, we can change the shape of the object. It is not moving in that situation. So, this third one also incorrect. Fourth one. It's only the direction of a force can be represented graphically. No, not only the direction. We can represent the size and also the point of application of force graphically when we are representing the force. Fourteen, the standard unit of measuring the pressure is answer number four, Nm minus two, because we can take the pressure by dividing the force from the area. So the unit is the fourth one. 15. Following are some instances related to use of pressure in real life. A. It's easy to cut something by using a sharp knife. B. There are a large number of tires are used in a container than in a bus. It is easy to cut a piece of soap by using a thin thread. So answer no, number 3. A and C are correct. They are asking what are the instances of increasing the pressure. You know, to increase the pressure, this is the equation for the pressure, P equal F divided by A. So, uh, when increasing the area, pressure will reduce. But if we decrease the area, pressure is increasing. In the A and C situations, uh, the surface area has decreased, so the pressure has increased. So, A and C only are the correct answers. We will see the 16th one. The light rays coming from an object which is far away from a man with short sight are focused before the retina. Before the retina is the answer. 17. The organisms that provide a substratum for the growth of pathogenic microorganisms are known as the host. They are the host. The smallest unit called element that made up compounds do not show the properties of compound. 19. The pressure means the perpendicular force act on a unit area of surface. 20. Physical methods can be used to separate components from a mixture. Now we will move to the part 2 of the paper. First question. The diagram given below is a structure of a human eye. What is the part labeled as C in the diagram? 
C is the islands. Answer should be islands. Next one. Name the letter that indicate the parts carry out the following functions. A. Control the amount of light enters the eye. The letter is E. It is the iris. Carries impulses about the images formed on the retina to the brain. Letter is J. It is the optic nerve. Roman number 3. What is the name of the place that makes more clear images of an eye? That place is the fovea or yellow spot. Name the letters of two transparent parts of the eye that travels the light that travels the light through them. We will see what are the transparent parts here. This part, the uh, aqueous humor is transparent and the cornea is transparent. So answer D and E. D and E are the answers. Next one, hypermetropia and myopia are two eye defects and cataract in the eye and glaucoma are two diseases associated with the eye. The diagram given below is a demonstrate a remedy for an eye defect. This activity shows that though the long distance object can be seen clearly, short distance cannot be seen clearly. But this can be corrected by using lenses. Which lens out of the P and Q can be considered as the eye lens? Here this is the uh, structure of the eye. Screen here is acting as the retina of the eye. So in front of the retina, this lens should be the eye lens. So Q is the answer for the A question. B part, state the nature of the image formed on the screen. Is it upright or inverted? Always the images forming in our eye are inverted. Inverted. Answer inverted. See what is the eye defect demonstrated by the above activity? The eye defect is the long sight. How we can take it? Uh, here they have given long distance objects can be seen clearly. So the disease is long sight. State the type of lens used above as the remedy. Uh, is it convex or a concave lens? The remedial lens is a convex meniscus lens. Here the P is the convex meniscus lens. Roman number 2. State the name of eye disease rela uh, related to the given information. A. The objects are seen blurred due to reduction of the transparency of the eye, uh, eye lens. The disease is cataract. Reduce the visual range gradually of the eye and leads for blindness. The disease is glaucoma. Next one. State a good habit uh, that can be followed to maintain the healthy eye. You can write, protect the eye from harmful rays. Protect the eye from harmful rays. C part. The ear is the organ that's sensitive uh, for perception of sounds. Roman number one. State of function of ear except the perception of senses of sound. The, another function of the ear is controls the balance of the body. State the part of the ear that perform each function given below. A. Receive senses relevant to the sound by vibrating correspond, correspondent to the sound wave. The answer tympanic membrane. Direct the sound into the external auditory canal. It is doing by pinna. Carrying impulses of the senses of sound to the particular area of the brain. Auditory nerve.
second question. They are useful as well as adverse effects of microorganisms for the man and to the other organisms. Name the group that the two microorganisms in the picture belongs. Uh, the first picture shows you the protos, uh, paramecium and the second picture shows you the amoeba. These two microorganisms belong to the group protosova. The answer protosova. State whether the organisms belong to above group are unicellular or multicellular or are unicellular. From a number three, state two and other groups of microorganisms except above mentioned groups, virus, bacteria, fungi also correct. From a number four, state two sub, uh, what is the group that cannot be named as living or non-living directly? The group virus. The only living feature of the virus is doing reproduction. No any cellular organization, don't doing the respiration. Fifth one, state two substratum that favorable for growth of microorganisms. Moist surfaces. Rotten food. We will write it as moist surfaces and uh, surfaces with favorable temperature. Favorable temperature. Surfaces with favorable temperature. State an example for an instance of using the microorganisms usefully for the agriculture. Uh, one example here, make compost. Make compost. State the groups of microorganisms caused by tuberculosis and pitriasis. Uh, tuberculosis causing microorganism is the bacteria. Pitriasis causing microorganism is the fungi. From number eight, it is needed added a cup of pre-prepared yogurt to milk in production of yogurt in small scale. State the reason for it. The reason is to add favorable microorganisms to the yogurt. To add favorable microorganisms. Uh, this medium is known as the culture medium. Next question, question number three. The things with a mass and occupy space are known as matter. Elements, compounds and mixtures are belongs to the matter. Classify the elements, compounds and mixtures under PO and non-PO. Here the elements and compounds are PO. Elements and compounds are PO substances. Mixtures are non-PO. From a number two, write the standard symbol of following elements hydrogen element H carbon capital C sodium capital N simple A. State the information regarding the subatomic particles given below. If the relative charge of an electron is negative, state the charge of proton and neutron respectively. Charge of proton is positive. Neutrons have no any charge, we call it as neutral. Next one, if the relative mass of proton is 1, uh, state the mass of an electron and neutron respectively. Electron, there should be the electron. Uh, the relative mass is, electrons relative mass means 1 below 1840. Neutron's mass also 1. It's equal to the proton's mass. Write the chemical formula of water. It is H2O.
we will move to the fourth question third question roman number 5 write all the elements present in the sodium chloride all the elements present in the sodium chloride in a and cl the atomic number and the mass number of a neutral nitrogen atom respectively are 7 and 14. What is the number of electrons? It is equal to the uh, atomic number. 7 is the answer. Write the symbol of nitrogen atom and state the atomic number and the mass number according to the standard method. The way is write down the nitrogen symbol. The, atomic, uh, the mass number is in the upper part and the atomic number is in the below part of the element. Question number four. A pull or a push can be defined as a force. The diagram shows the two instances of applying force. State the nature of force indicated by A and B, a pull or a push. A is a pull, B is a push. B. State the direction of movement of the object. Is it to the direction of A or B? It is to the direction of A. Problem number two. Write the standard unit of measuring force by word and symbol. By word, it is Newton. Symbol is capital N. P and Q are two blocks of wood which have the same size but different mass. Uh, if the wooden block P can be moved by a horizontal force of 12 Newton and wooden block Q can be moved by a 4 Newton of vertical force, represent the magnitude of the force, direction of force and the point of application of force at the two instances. This is the way of representing. Uh, this is the object P. And uh, the force is applying into this way the force is 12 newton so you have to draw uh, a straight line uh, larger than three times than the force applying to the q because 12 is four times three times than four so it is large uh, larger than the force applying into the q uh, object three times larger than that and you have to mark the application of force here, point of application of force. This is the Q object. The force is applying into this way. It's somewhat small. This is the point of application of the force. Problem number four, state whether the force is vector quantity or a scalar quantity. It's a vector quantity. Briefly explain the reason. It's a vector quantity. The reason is force has a magnitude and a direction. Force has a magnitude and a direction. Fifth one, the weight act, acts downward due to the mass of the body. A and B are two set up to demonstrate the affection of the weight and the area of contacting surface to uh, change the pressure. Problem number one, state the setup from A and B which has the small area of contacting and large area of contacting. Uh, this A has the smallest area of contacting. There are a few number of nails. B has large area of contacting. Roman number two, if two about two setup have used to demonstrate the affection of area of contacting of pressure, which balloon out of A and B burst at first? You know, if the area is low, pressure is high. So in the A situation, the pressure is high. So, the balloon will burst first in the A instance. Answer A. Roman number 3. Briefly explain the reason for bursting one balloon first. The answer. Uh, in, a, in A instance, the area is 
low so the pressure is high area is low pressure is high problem number 4 if it is tested the affection of force to change the pressure state whether the following factors should be equal or not equal a number of drawing pins fixed on the board should not equal not equal the weight keep on the balloon should equal we are not changing the weight Question number five: uh, State the way of increasing the force applied by a hammer to fix a nail, and the way of changing the area of contacting. The answer: uh, Beat strongly. Beat strongly. And next one: Pointed end of the nail tip. Pointed end of the nail tip. Roman number 6 an object with a mass of 500 newton was kept on a flat surface if the area which is contacted the object is 4 square meter calculate the pressure exerted by the object on the floor you know the p equals f divided by a we have to substitute these values 500 newton divided with 4 square meters The answer is one hundred and twenty-five newton per square meters. Now we will move to the question number six. Following are some examples for mixtures. Classify above as homogeneous and heterogeneous. Yes, homogeneous means. We cannot separately identify the components in the mixture. Uh, heterogeneous mixtures, we can separately identify the components in the mixture. So, salt solution is homogeneous. Tea powder mixed with iron powder heterogeneous. Concrete mixture heterogeneous. Petrol mixed with kerosene homogeneous. Rice mixed with husks heterogeneous. state how does a homogeneous mixture change from a heterogeneous mixture the answer the color remains equal everywhere in homogeneous mixtures the color remains equal everywhere in homo homogeneous mixtures color different in heterogeneous mixtures color different in heterogeneous mixtures explain briefly the method of separating components from the following mixtures a separate salt from salt solution the method is evaporation separate iron powder from the mixture of iron powder and tea powder method is using a magnet see separate rice from the mixture of rice husks the method is we know we from number 4 uh, name two compounds in salt solution two compounds in salt solution water and sodium chloride fifth one a student said that copper sulfate solution is a homogeneous mixture state two observations to confirm this 
uh, statement the answer has an equal color throughout the solution another one has an equal transparency this is the end of this paper explanation uh, thank you for watching subscribe the channel to watch more videos like this